Okay guys, so here's a quick preview of what's to come and what you can expect from this box or tutorial. Here we have a three image mix. You have a screenshot, you have the title of the game, and the box art on the side 3D. As you can see, this looks really, really good, and this is the ideal setup you want for your Plus or H, whatever system you're on. So yeah, let me show you how to do it. Play Retro. Hey guys, you're watching Play Retro. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Javi, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to add beautiful box art to your RG35XXH and your RG35XX Plus. So if you guys see my last video, I did show you guys how to flash the stock OS. So if you haven't seen that video, go see that video now. I did wanna give a quick shout out to the people in the comments who actually requested the box art tutorial. Shout out, uh, Jupsy. Box art tutorial would be appreciated. Waiting for mine to arrive. Any day now, very happy to see ebook reader included with, uh, with this update. Shout out PS3 Classic Games HD. Boxer tutorial is a must have for the latest stock OS, especially for people like me who don't have the knowledge on how to do that. And shout out I Hassani. Can you please add the boxer tutorial? Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for the helpful video. So yeah, guys, your voices have been heard and here it is, the tutorial. Let's get straight to it. All right. Okay, here we go. So as always, let's start with some preparation. What you'll need. You're gonna need a micro SD card reader. I'm assuming you've already followed my previous tutorial, so if you haven't done so, go do that first. You're gonna also need your SD card that has your games on it. So the TF2, most likely. You're gonna need a screenscraper.fr account right over here. So this is called ScreenScraper.fr. I will leave a link in the description below to this website so you guys can go register. So you're just gonna fill this in, your email and password, and just click register right here, and then you should be good to go. You do need an account for this, okay? It's free, completely free, so you don't have nothing to worry about. And then the next thing you're gonna need is the Scraper application. This is right over here on scraper.net. You can click download right here and get, grab the one for your system. You're likely gonna be on Windows or for Mac over here. So yeah, just grab the one that's for your system. Okay, so step one is to insert your SD card with the games onto your computer. So guys, I just ran into an error just now where I put in my SD card into the computer and for some reason it wasn't being seen. So if this happens to you, where you put in your SD card and your Windows is not recognizing your drive, you wanna use this program called Mini Tool Partition Wizard. And all you have to do is right click it and then you're gonna change letter and then assign it something new. Originally it was on none, and then I just assigned the H and now all uh, windows can see it. So go ahead and do that if that happens to you. I know this is a, a common issue I see in the comment section. So I just wanted to throw this in. You will need mini tool partition wizard. I will leave a link in the description below for this program if you run into this issue. So now that this is in the PC, uh, go ahead and download whichever version you want. It's gonna be a seven zip file. You can just launch the .exe like this. And this is what it's gonna look like. So you're gonna, you're gonna click here, I have an account, In, input your credentials, you can click validate. Okay, it's gonna say one scrape engines enabled, and you can click next. And now, when you first see this window, this, is, this may take a long time. It's just downloading all the resources it needs. So I want you to just go get a drink or something, come back and just uh, let this thing do its thing. Okay, so then this thing's finally done downloading its resources. You're gonna be presented with this screen. It says front end selection. Just go ahead and click generic emulation. And now we have to direct it to the correct place where your ROMs are stored. So go ahead and click this folder icon right here. And you're gonna go to your H and direct it to the ROMs folder. And then just press okay. Now it's gonna find all those systems in your, in your H and whichever ones it missed, you're gonna have to add manually. So, and then on this next screen, you can just press next or finish. And now you're presented with this screen. So I know for a fact I don't have some of these systems. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and remove them. But if you do have these systems, you can just keep them. Okay, so you just wanna have the systems you actually have games for. If you see any of them are missing, you wanna go ahead and add them manually. So for example, here I'm missing Genesis. So I'm gonna just click plus right here. And then I'm gonna go down to consoles and then right over here you'll see Sega Genesis now I can add that and it's gonna have the wrong uh, directory so you're gonna go ahead and change that go into the H go into ROMs and then direct it to the correct folder which would be MD 
Okay, now that's correct. We're also missing SNES, which is right over here. Super Nintendo. Boom. Go ahead and change the folder. We're also missing NES. And NES is labeled FC. So you want to click all systems here and then right over here you want to look at this number make sure you have the same amount of systems that you have on in your uh sd card that has games on it okay so we're going to go ahead and go into games list order over here okay and then we want to set this to no backup just update existing then over metadata we can skip all this in media this is really important first of all grab this manual and you're going to press this minus button right here and now for this, you can pick whatever you want. A four image mix is good. I'm recommending a three image mix. That is the one I showcased in the beginning of the video, right over here. Just because I don't think you need the cartridge as well. I think it's kind of cluttered. I think three is the best uh, thing. And you can't, you can't really use for this. You cannot use, for example, one of my favorites to use is actually, one of my favorites to use is 2D box art, but the way Ambernick governs their box art, this will, it for, for games that have like tall box art or something like uh, Genesis, the games become squished. So I don't recommend the 2D box art for this. You wanna use a uh, mix, a three image mix, okay? So for this tutorial, please use a three image mix. Now right over here in output folder, you wanna take this off all the way to that backslash. Okay, and then right over here, you just wanna write IMGS. So that's capital I M G S only the I is capital. Okay. Now everything else in here, you can pretty much just leave alone. Okay. And then go into miscellaneous. And then in here, I just want you to uncheck use ROMs region first when available. Just uncheck that. And with that, you're pretty much good to go. You can just press play. It's going to give you a warning. It says scraping all systems may take a long, a long while. Continue press. Okay. And now, it's going to basically look through all of this and it's, it says, Hey, I found this many games, 1,937 games. And now it's going to scrape all of them. So yeah, it's going to take a, if you have a lot of games like I do, this is going to take a long time. So for this example, I'm actually just going to do one system because I don't want this to take three hours. So, uh, when, when turbo graphics 16 is done, I'm just going to exit out. If you guys find this sort of content helpful, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Um, it does help the channel grow and get this video out to more people. Okay, so when this thing is done, I've gone ahead and canceled it because I don't want this thing to take forever. But when this thing is done, you're going to hear that jingle. Then you could just uh, exit out of Scraper and you're pretty much done. So you can go ahead and safely eject your SD card. And there you have it, boys and girls. Beautiful box art for your RG35XXH and your RG35XX Plus. Amazing. And then, like I said, the three image mix is the best uh, mix, I believe. So yeah, not all the titles are gonna be in English, unfortunately, that's just the way the scraper is. But for the most part, it is gonna be on point. So you guys, if you run into any issues um, during the installation process, Definitely leave a, a comment in the, the comment section below and I'll see what I could do to help you guys out. You guys are always um, welcome to come to my Discord and uh, speak to me directly. Outside of that, that's it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.